edges. So, you know, one of them is is for tanning of a pinball machine I'm working on or have been working on for quite a while, but then stopped uh, working on. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, probably know what it is from that. But let's get on with the let's unbox this. Uh, top one here. Okay. Here's the whole thing. Uh, three pinball manuals that I got from I believe was it coin taker yeah I think so but yeah this first one is taxi and then earth shaker and then roadshow and you're probably wondering why do I have why am I getting manuals that I don't have games? That I don't have the games um, in my collection. It's because it's it's ones that I would like to have in my collection, but I don't. But hope maybe sometime in the future I'll have have them. But for right now I don't. Uh, the other one that I thought of getting was uh, Bride of Pinbot. That one I do want. I, I just like the uh, whole building the robot uh, thing. It reminds me of uh, Android on Epic Pinball. That uh, I used to play Epic Pinball a lot. So yeah. So yeah, th that's the uh, pinball manuals here. And I do look, I do look through the uh, manuals too. Um, uh, basically something to um, study. Uh, and I just like to see the, like the, the inner workings of of mechanisms and stuff in the different games and stuff too so all right so let's get on to the more exciting box here which uh, it's fairly small for for what's in here which i mean it's fine like you'd never know that it's this, though. I'll give it away. You're doing it. Well, you've taken the first steps uh, towards building your pinball dream. Congratulations from us at Fast Pinball. Aaron, Dave, Ellie, and Brian, congratulations and welcome to the Fast Pinball family. Uh, we're excited to be part of your pinball making journey and can't Wait to see you build. We want you to succeed, so we've created a starting point 
with links to our documentation, guides, and community check. Check it out at fastpinball.com slash welcome. And uh, so yeah, that's in your box, unboxing, getting started guides, tutorials, videos, and how to's connect with other pinball makers. All right. nice it does give you some it does give you connectors and it's a good thing because i bought the wrong wrong connectors um but uh yeah well i kind of sort of well there is some small connectors there though so yeah this is the first thing is it does give you some connectors and then there's nice they do have some standoff leds here i'm guessing rgb probably but yeah they have they have two connections one probably is the input and then the other is like output probably I don't know if I, this does seem to be still um, soldered in, so I don't know if they could do some sort of uh, regular socket so you can uh, replace replace these easier, easy. Um, I don't actually know how much something like this is separate, it's probably like a couple dollars. For, uh, for something like this. I'm not sure though. I actually didn't do my uh, research on just individual uh, LEDs and stuff um, because as you can see I got the uh, pinball kit here. All right I believe this is an interconnect board. It's similar to like my um, police force that has an in interconnect board. There's some stuff that like jumpers to different uh, places on on the uh, interconnect. And I, this is probably something similar. But uh, yeah, there's mode in, mode out, um, EXP, uh, mode out. Yeah, there's, so that's why I got Got these just because some of the some of the uh, stuff on the boards does have like it, it's not really for internet it's for like uh, different modes and stuff so we have that ah uh, yes this I saw the that uh, the kit also showed also bought with and so I bought bought this and what this is it is a the ball trough um, opto opto board uh, the left and right it's basically uh, uh, lets the uh, computer know that there's a there's balls in the trough and to uh, and so it if it's working right then it'll uh, when you hit start it'll uh, kick the ball falls out or I should say a ball usually. Uh, but yeah, here's the uh, LEDs here. And like the other ones, it has the uh, input and output because you can like 
daisy chain these and they do have different i think from what i've heard there's like four uh chains like four outputs that you can uh use the leds on i believe like a 256 kit but but yeah that's those leds I'm just uh, amazed at how small well, you, you guys have seen some of my pins that I work on like the Williams stuff this is like super tiny compared to the old big stuff from the 80s and 90s and uh, I was hoping to put everything in the head, but they do show some of the boards uh, under the play field, so, um, so yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do that. Because my plan was that I wanted to have this like, like an old Williams where everything was mainly in the head. But I don't know. I mean, I have I have plenty of wire that I could wire everything up. Um, so I have plenty of length on, like the wires that wiring that I have. It's just a matter of if I'll uh, do the original plan of putting everything in the head or not. Not sure what this is, but uh, yeah. But yeah, there's some more, some more f circuit stuff. And that's some more connectors. Oh, and that's a sticker. So yeah, if this if this kit does work, I'll definitely slap the sticker somewhere on the tab. Uh, yeah. There's also uh, my original plan was also to. I wanted to like have the full experience of like etching the my own uh, boards and stuff, but then I'm like, eh, I don't for one, I don't know what the heck I would be doing, and then yeah, so so I decided to get a kit, and of course it's from Fast Pinball here, so yeah, uh, yes, connectors galore. Now, do they give you extras in case you mess up? Because, yeah, sometimes you get don't get quite get the uh, crimps right. Um, so, yeah, that, that is good to know that in the kit that you do get connect, connectors, which I was like, oh, no. I was, like, so freaked out about it because I was like oh crap I got the kit but I didn't like get any like connectors or the uh, 
uh, Ethernet cable stuff, so I'm like, I'm, I'm glad that you do get um, plenty of connectors here. I just am amazed at how small, small things have gotten for pinball. Uh, well, at least for making your own pin anyways. I'm not sure about like uh, Stern or Jersey Jack, uh, what their boards are like, because I haven't really played, I haven't really looked at um, like the Sterns or Jersey Jack. I would like to, but yeah, that's way too, that's way over my money bit budget. Doesn't help that I don't uh, sell my pins that I, I say I'm going to sell, sell the pins that I uh, get working, but <laughs> it's just, ooh, attachment is what I'll say. It's hard to get rid of something that you work so hard on. But uh, yeah. Ah. Ah. It's like one more. It is a good thing that I got the Ethernet cables because it doesn't come with the uh, the e Ethernet cables. So I am glad that I got those. Because yeah, this is the last last boards here is uh, this. Oh yeah, I love chunky, chunky elect electrolytic caps. Yeah, for I I think. Maybe this is the interconnect board, but mm, no, I think it's power supply because the because uh, power supply usually has big old uh, caps on it. So so yeah. Uh, yeah, there's controller, back box, topper, CPU power. Um, 12 volts input, 48 volt uh, input. Okay, so this is where this is like a power supply because you have the 48 and 12 volts. And then I'm thinking that one of these, um, is like six or seven volts for the uh, LEDs because you don't want to you know actually you can there is LEDs that are made for 12 volts but not sure if that's the case on uh, fast pinball or not the other the only other gripe that I have with with this is the fuses are the mini type and of course I don't have any um mini fuses so if I need to get I think well I'm probably going to start wiring up stuff like right away but if anything blows then uh, of course I don't really have many any of these mini fuses so Kind of some maybe I don't know um, may, maybe put in like some extras extra fuses um, not that it's a requirement I mean it, they do give you fuses already in the in the blocks so at least there's that. Um, and let's see. There. Um. Okay, so. Uh. 
I'm not sure what the fuse amperage is on these. It's there's so much there's so much information on there that um I'll I'm not going to do too much looking around for the amperage of uh, all these fuses, but um I don't know, I'll probably like put something something up if I find it, like a picture with a circle around it or something. So yeah, there is a lot of information, like there's, there is like back box fuse and was that 4.8 volts or something, um, CPU. So yeah. So yeah, that's the last um, last board. So yeah, I'll check out the tutorial and of wiring, and I am going to s stream on. I was going to stream do um, unboxing this, but I wanted to get this open so. What I might do is put these in in, in the anti-static bags that I got because not there's one board that didn't come in any kind of static uh, anti-static stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, well, uh, it's finally begun. I finally have a pinball kit that I'll let me or allow me to make my pinball machine and I do plan on uh, doing a mock-up Ooh, it's brand new in box you know kind of thing um, it probably won't be the box and the packaging stuff isn't going to be like reflective of if I were to sell my pinball machine because uh, I do want to I'm going to like keep the prototype of course, but I do want to sell, um, sell the pinball machine at some point, but of course I want to have something that's at least, uh, at least flipping. <laughs> so that'll be the first thing is, uh, getting, uh, the flippers to flip and, uh, the slings to do their thing and stuff. So. So anyways, this video is really long, so I'll wrap it up. So yeah, I'm really excited. So hope you're excited too with this uh, pinball journey that you will we'll both be going on. on. Um, if you like this this uh, video, uh, give it a thumbs up or not, and. Uh, if you want to come along with, with me on the pinball journey, it's been very many years in the making, um, then hit that subscribe button. And I'll, like always, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everyone.